Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and today we're going to find out if Commander's most overrated equipment is actually a sneaky infinite combo piece in modern. So let's talk about our super spicy viewer submitted Sunforger combo deck. Jump into some games, see it in action. All right, so here is our Sunforger combo deck for Modern from EG Vel. So thanks to EG for sending in a really fun deck. And if you want your own deck to maybe show up on the YouTube or the stream, make sure to send it to me, saffronolivemtdgoldfish.com, or just leave a link in the comments and I'll check it out. I'd love to see your sweet brews. So the goal of this deck is to win with Commander's Most Overrated Equipment. And if you're wondering why I'm calling it that, check out the Commander Clash podcast where we tier rank equipment. But I really think Sunforger is one of the most overrated equipment in the Commander format, and that is Sunforger. So Sunforger, it pumps your creatures, blah, blah, blah. The big deal is for a red and a white mana, you can unattach it and tutor up a red or white instant mana value for less, play it without paying its mana cost. This is the ability that gives Sunforger its combo potential. So step one of our deck, play a Sunforger. Gotta get on the battlefield. Step two is we gotta be able to equip it for free. At three mana to equip, we can't really do anything exciting with Sunforger, but if we can equip it for free, it becomes really, really powerful. For this, we have Fervent Champion, probably our best option. It just free equips Sunforger. Pure Steel, if we get three artifacts for Metalcraft, free equips anything to anything. So that's step number two. Step one, Sunforger. Step two, a way to equip it for free. The last piece of the puzzle is we do need four mana to start our combo process. So we can't start the combo for tapped out. We got our lands, of course, that make mana, but we also have Pented Prism, Unexpected Windfall, Spring Leaf Drum to try to get some extra mana on the battlefield because we're really at our best when we can like get up to five mana, have a Sunforger on the battlefield, Fervent Champion, immediately equip it, four mana left over, combo off, win the game on the spot. So how do we actually combo with Sunforger? And this is where the deck gets really sweet and also a little convoluted. So let's say we get on our Sunforger, we have a way to free equip a Fervent Champion, let's say. What we do is is we equip the Sunforger to Fervent Champion for free. We spend two of our four mana to unattach it and tutor up a repeated reverberation. Repeated reverberation copies our next instant or sorcery two times. Then we re-equip Sunforger, use our last two mana to get Unexpected Windfall. Unexpected Windfall, two cards and two treasures. The thing is, we're actually gonna get three copies of it because of repeated reverberation. So we're gonna end up with six treasures and six cards. The cards honestly don't matter, as weird as it is for me to say that. The big deal is the treasures. We get six treasures, which is three more Sunforger activations. So this means we equip Sunforger, we unequip it, we get repeated reverberation. Then we equip Sunforger, we unequip it, we get another repeated reverberation. Then we equip Sunforger one more time with our last mana, unequip it, get a lightning bolt. That lightning bolt is gonna be copied six times. We're gonna get seven total copies of lightning bolt, which is 21 damage at our opponent's face. And that's a combo. Essentially, Fervent Champion Sunforger and and four mana available wins a game. Two card, win the game combo. Everything else comes out of our deck. If our main combo can't win, we can win with Lightning Storm, uh, like repeated reverberation a bunch of times, unexpected windfall a bunch of times, try to draw a ton of cards, tutor up Lightning Storm, discard all the lands we draw to hopefully get 20 damage or more out of the Lightning Storm. But really the Lightning Bolt kill is most common. As far as the rest of the deck, Stoneforge finds Sunforger or Shadow Sphere. Ranger Captain of Eos finds Fervent Champion and can protect this from non-creature spells for a turn like a Pseudo Silence. Then we have a couple of utility spells for Sunforger, Chance for Glory, more removal protection, extra turn, but we gotta win that turn or we're gonna lose the game. Angel's Grace can kinda like fog and keep us alive for a turn. I think the theory is our opponent like attacks us for lethal and we tutor out Angel's Grace, go to one, untap, combo off, win the game. Mana base, pretty typical stuff. Artifact lands to turn on pure steel. Sideboard, yeah, a bunch of hate cards, more stuff that we can tutor up with our Sunforger. And that is Sunforger combo for modern. That's our much of deck for this week. So let's jump into some games in C. Can the most overrated equipment in Commander be a sneaky all-star in infinite-ish combo piece in Modern? That's what we're gonna find out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Enjoy the games, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Need some new Kamigawa Neon Dynasty cards? Well, you can get them from our amazing sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish, and even get a free goldfish sticker. Just let them know you want one in your order notes, and they'll hook you up. Much brew about nothing time. We are trying to find out if the most overrated equipment in Commander could actually be good in modern of all places. Monastery Swift's be off for our opponent. Gets in hits us. Yeah, land untapped. Bolt the Swift Spear, pass the turn. 
So opponents playing burn, arid mesa, and even more swift spears. Gets and hits us. Sure, 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 sure. Down to 16. Well, land on white and Stoneforge Mystic. So we already got a Sunforger. So we have the combo set up if we can get to it. So we're going to get a... I wonder if this deck... So this is a viewer deck. I mentioned that before. I wonder if this deck wants a better Stoneforge package. Like Sunforger is our number one target because it's our combo piece, but that doesn't mean we can't have a batter skull or a Calder complete hanging out. Cause this would be a scenario where getting a batter skull would be super, super duper helpful. Opponent hits us to 12, goes to combat attacks down to 10. Hmm, Prism. I think what we have to do here is play, play Fervent Champion, land on red. Shadow Sphere. Put it on the Fervent Champion, gain a couple life. Hit ya. So not not bad. Not bad. Bone it down to seven, dude. This Angel's Grace at some point could could be a blowout. We'll see. Sunbaked Canyon. Opponent goes to combat. New attacks. Well, we will Pentad Prism. So for this, so for our combo to work, we need Sunforger on Fervent Champion in Four mana. Wow, bonus X to draw. So this, we're close. We can put the Sunforger into play. We would really just prefer our opponent to tap down or out. Because as a burn deck, they definitely have a lot of a lot of instant speed answers to our fervent champion. Searing Blaze the Fervent Champion. Okay. Not great for us. Gets in, hits us. So we drop to seven. Well, that means we're not winning this turn. Stoneforge, put Sunforger into play. Untap, Sunbay Canyon, pure steel paladin. Equip, equip, hit ya. Okay, Gain, go up to 13. Okay, I think we can do it now. So what we wanna do is, okay, this is our window. Opponent's got one mana. Okay, so we can unattach Sunforger. Oh, this is gonna work. This is gonna work, we're gonna get him. Unattach Sunforger, get chance for glory, make our stuff indestructible, take an extra turn, and then it's, it's combo time, yes. So we gotta win this turn, but that's fine. We're planning to win this turn. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hopefully having this one repeated reverberation in hand does not ruin things. All right, combo time, combo time. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we wanted about it. Oh, this is gonna be sweet. Sacred Foundry. So we untap, we get an extra turn. So now the fun begins. Sunforger, equipped to pure steel. Remove it. Get repeated reverberation. So we get to copy our next spell twice. Equip, remove it. Okay, I think we can do this. Oh, wait, tapping wrong way. Okay, combo. Remove it, tutor up unexpected windfall, discard Stoneforge, get three unexpected windfalls, that's six treasures. So now we can go for the kill. Okay, so Stoneforger, equip, remove it, one, two, repeated reverberation. Oh, this deck's sweet when it goes off. Repeated reverberation. Cast it. We got one more, one more in the deck. Equip, remove it. A little bit, hit our swans, draw some cards, ask. Uh, remove it. Maybe the, maybe it's unfortunate, maybe this is its true home since it's so clearly overrated in Commander. Do it again, repeated reverberation. Number two, and then we get the lightning bolt. So last repeated reverberation, cast it. Get some copies. And then this should be 21 damage. <laughs> to our opponent's face, take it out of bird deck. Oh my goodness, maybe this actually works. Wow, through a tricky matchup too with our opponent having having so much instant speed removal about it. We found the true home for Sunforger. All right, so our next spell is gonna be copied a roughly infinite number of times. And last but not least, we will Sunforger, equip, remove it, and get the greatest lightning bolt of all time. Unattach, lightning bolt your face, and uh-huh. 
<laughs> okay, three bolts. Yes. Yes. We don't even need them all for five bolts. Oh my God, so good. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh my goodness, that was beautiful. Well, we got him good that game. Opponents on burn. Let's bring in the Sanctifiers. Go down Springleaf Drum. Probably want the Ranger Captain. Maybe the Silence? Like, we need a way to combo off without our opponent just burning uh, burning out our combo creature. That's the, that's the issue. Shadow Sphere is great. Sunforger necessary. Sanctifier, also probably necessary. Maybe we can go three. Three is probably okay. Go down. Maybe we don't need the lightning storm. Actually, Angel's Grace, we probably cut. The problem with Angel's Grace is against burn. They burn us, we cast it, we go to one, then they just untap and cast another burn spell. So it's unlikely to actually save us for a meaningful amount of time. Let's go down the lightning storm kill. Cause now our opponent knows how the combo works, which makes it trickier. Especially like this burn has so many burn spells. <laughs> As its name suggests, the burn deck has a has a lot of burn spells. Maybe si maybe we don't go silence. So we want the ranger captain, I guess. This deck has me intrigued. The combo is really sweet. It has a lot of decent cards in it. And I feel like there's a ton of potential brewing still to be done. Like there's a lot of possibilities. Urza Saga, changing up the equipment package for Stone Forge, like Batter Skulls or Calder Completes for free wins. So even though like it's really sweet as it is, there's also a lot of, a lot of stuff that can still happen to improve the deck potentially. Well, let's keep. Plus, I mean, it's just hilarious to see to see Sunforger actually going off. So this hand, Fervent Champion, combo piece one. This gets Sunforger. So it's gonna be another can we get them to tap down sort of game. Assuming we live that log about it. It's us. Removal spell for this would be fine. Well, in that case, pathway on red and lightning bolt. Threat one down. About it passes. This unexpected windfall could be good too, just to make enough mana the wing combo in one turn. That's my main my main technique for playing this deck so far is to try to do the combo all at once if possible, to kind of catch the opponent by surprise rather than running it out over the course of multiple turns. Uh, like I don't really want to just play this fervent champion and start attacking. I think we want to save it until we have the combo set up and try to try to use it to win. Well, we're gonna take Sunforger. There could be an argument to just taking a uh, Shadow Sphere for life gain, but we came here to combo. Wow. Sack the Sunbake Canyon on turn two. Fair enough. About it, Arid Mesa. Are we killing the Stone Forge? Not yet. Rift Bolt suspended, amount of passes. Oh, there's another one. Well, Rust Veil Bridge. We're gonna put the Sunforger into play. We're most likely gonna unexpected windfall next turn, and then we should be set up to, to combo at our earliest convenience, Rift Bolt. And we're still at 19, which is huge. Especially against Burn, like not being dead is, <laughs> is really helpful. If you want a combo, <laughs> not being dead makes it much easier. Opponent Rift Bolt. I assume they go phase. I'm gonna go Stoneforge. All right, well, I mean, we'll put the Sunforger into play. And now we wait. So we do need four mana to start the combo. Sacred Foundry. Ooh, smash, all right, all right, all right. Well, now we need another one. And Skewer, well, that was annoying. <laughs> we could double Fervent Champion attack. Or we just unexpected windfall. Oh, that smash was, was tough. And I mean, I think we do. Fervent Champion, Fervent Champion. Artifact land, hit you for four. So I think we go into like mini race mode. I mean, Fervent Champions, we saw them in standard. They can just be good attackers if we get hated out. And then next turn we can win fall. Opponent, Eidolon. I don't even know if that's good for our opponent, honestly. Wooded Foothills. Play the land. One, two, three, four. Unexpected windfall. Discard the land. Ugh, drawn to double lands. Well, go to combat. Attack, attack. Opponent cracks. Mountain. And searing blaze? Okay, deflecting palm. <laughs> sure. So that's gonna prevent two damage and hit us for two? All right, sure. About it. Oh, I really wish we would've hit something better off this windfall. I don't think that's gonna do what our opponent wants. It only prevents damage to our opponent. So I think they're still just chumping with their idol on. 
All right, uh, one, two, pure steel paladin. And maybe we end up winning the boring way. <laughs> we'll take it, we'll take it. Against burn, we're not gonna complain. Oh, then it untaps. No cards in hand. They need something pretty good. I think this Lurus is just gonna be too slow. More pure steels. Uh, well, go to combat, attack. Okay, draws a bolt, kills a fervent champion. Well, go attack and hit ya. Not as spectacular as a combo, but it's nice to know that I can still piece together a win. Uh, pure steel. Inspiring vantage, go. All right, opponent, better draw something good. I'm not sure that deflecting palm play really mattered, honestly. Like, even if it worked the way our opponent wanted it to, I don't know what, I don't know what it actually kept them uh, from losing the game, but well, we'll take it. <laughs> we got the combo in game one, got the, the janky knight beat down, maybe. I got an idea. I got an idea. Let me know what you think in the comments. Circle of Loyalty backup plan? Eh? Eh? Is this the deck to finally make Circle of Loyalty work? Maybe. These are these are all knights. No one expects it. Let's go on to the next one. Much brew about nothing time. We are trying to find out if Commander's most overrated equipment, Sunforger, might actually be busted in uh, in modern. Who would have thought? I'm gonna get so many hateful comments about calling this underrated, but listen to the Commander Clash podcast where we rank the equipment. I, I actually believe this is pretty, pretty overrated. Moon Snare prototype. All right, so affinity of some kind. Do we show our opponent the fervent champion? I just get so worried that if we show them, they're gonna they're gonna play differently or try to kill it or whatever. But in this case, I think we do. Fervent champion hit you for one. Uh, the other thing to consider is opponent could have Karn. If they have Karn the Great Creator, we cannot tap lands for mana. We just we just ultra lose Ornithopter, Moon Snare prototype, and Consulate Dreadnought, and. Thought monitor to draw cards. Opponent passes. Well, uh, inspiring vantage and sunforger. And equip and attack. Well, I mean, this is this is it. This is it. We got it set up. We got the land for next turn. Does our opponent disrupt our combo or kill us? Dark Steel sit three cards in hand. Uh-oh. Here comes a tapping. Please just play random artifacts. Urza. Okay, that's that's actually fine. Surprisingly, this turns on the Consulate Dreadnought, but we just win if we untap with this. Okay, Cruz hits us, hits us. I mean, I think we just go infinite and win. Down to 11. Opponent has one mana left. Still one mana left. All right, so we play the planes. I mean, we go for the combo, uh, unattach. Get reverberation. Equip, unattach. Unexpected windfall. Discard the land. Get some copies. Six treasures. Six treasures. Yup, yup, yup. And then equip. Unattach. Reverberation. Maybe this deck's actually actually good. Like maybe somehow strangely this deck is is good. <laughs> and Sunforger busted in mod. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that modern would be the home? Unattach, uh, let's keep reverberating. Can never reverberate too much. <laughs> okay, our next spell will be copied many a times. Equip, unattach, and lightning bolt your face seven times. <laughs> It's working! It's working! This is turn four! This is turn four! I mean, this is it, this is Splinter Twin. Turn four, two card, if it combo. Not, not, I guess it's not truly infinite, but it ends the game. It wins. It kills the opponent. It's 21 damage. All we did this game is play a Fervent Champion in a, in a Sunforger. <laughs> wow! The most overrated equipment in Commander, Busterino. Busterino in Modern. Okay, so opponent in Artifact deck probably has counters in the sideboard to some extent. Portable hole. The question is, what are we, what are we trying to fight? Like, what are we fighting out of our opponent's deck? Can probably go down the lightning storm, maybe the lightning bolt and bring in all the wear tears. What do we do about Urza? Pithy needle? Pithy needle, wait, that's probably a mana ability, isn't it? Seems like anything that makes mana is a mana ability. Maybe we just bring in a path have one one hard removal spell. This deck's actually really tricky to cut cards from. Cause like so many of our cards are combo pieces. Like these are all combo pieces. Combo piece, well, tutor for a combo piece, combo piece, combo piece. 
And then we need a, a critical mass of artifacts to be able to uh, use pure steel. So we can't really cut the artifacts for the most part. So that leaves us with relatively few flex slots. <laughs> and there's, and you could even argue like chance for glory is a combo piece. Ranger captain, I guess is a flex slot, although it does seem pretty good at its job. I think we're gonna go down the Angel's Grace. Maybe we regret going down the Angel's Grace, but we're gonna go down the Angel's Grace and see what happens. If you hear growling in the background, it's just a, just a little puppy fight. A playful, a playful puppy fight. Bearby, you wanna get, come here. See, here's, here's Bearby, big boy. And then, and then Bearby's got his, uh, his brother over. Little Ruckus, who weighs about half as much. So there's, well, see, there's, there's the puppy fight. You actually get to see it on, on camera. Go fight in the other room. I'm doing a video. All right, Moonsnare prototype. All right, that's your that's your puppy update for uh for the day. That's your puppy update. This hand's interesting. Not the mic stand. Sacred Foundry tap. So the awkward part is our free equipped creature is pure steel, which means we're gonna need another artifact. I guess. Oh my God, puppies. Puppies, you killed the camera. Oh my God, puppies. Apologies. I apologize for these puppies. <laughs> I apologize. Either spell Bob and. I'll play the planes, run out a Stoneforge Mystic. Four. I mean, we already have Sunforger. Yeah, let's take Shadow Sphere. Ship the turd. So his Aether Spellbomb is a problem that can slow us down. Urza Saga doing its thing. Aboro. Abuna passes. Well, inspiring vantage. Shadow Sphere. Let's just put the Sunforger into play. I think that's fine. Pass the turn. So our first attempt at comboing is gonna get fizzled by this Aether spell bomb. These constructs are gonna be huge, which is concerning. The boner done taps. Opponent only has two cards in hand, but this Aether spell bomb might, might be the problem. Opponent tutoring up. Please not Pithing Needle. Pithing Needle. I guess we should have uh, activated. Name Stoneforge. Well, I guess oddly this kind of worked out because it means, all right, here comes the card draw. Oddly, this kind of worked out because it means our opponent's not not needling our Sunforger. Opponent passing, or hitting us rather. Not great, not great, down to 15, but it passes. Ooh, drawing all these repeated reverberations actually pretty bad. Uh, So how do we do this? Uh, Pure Steel Paladin. Pentad Prism. Pass the turn. Well, we'll see. A better to taps. Or an Athopter. We got a shot. Oh. <laughs> wow, opponents got hate cards for days. Yeah, so we can't search our library. So now I think we're pretty dead. I mean, I guess we can just go beat down in a weird way. Play the land. Play Sunforger. Draw a card. Sure. Equip to Stoneforge. Equip to Stoneforge. Go to combat. Attack Ashiok. All right, so opponent bounces the Stoneforge. Well, then we replay Stoneforge. Then we equip and equip and pass the turn. All right, we'll see. So we got through the first removal spell. Pono only has one card in hand, but we gotta kill the Ashiok before we can combo. Nettle Cyst. Not quite lethal. Big, but not lethal. Opponent passes. Yo, wow, this Ashiok's ruining our life. So if we attack, our opponent can block, and they still have the Ashiok. We keep drawing lands. There's also some risk of us dying. I'll play the bridge. Attack the Ashiok. Opponent blocks with the Nettle Cyst. Equip. Equip. Pass the turn. Oh, we're so set. We just got to figure out a way to get Ashiok off the battlefield. About it. Springleaf Drum grows the Nettle Cyst in the future and the Construct. I think our hope is that our opponent gets greedy at some point. That our opponent gets greedy, goes on a big attack, and we can maybe win with Chance for Glory. Opponent goes attacking. Wait, does this work? This might work. We'll see what our opponent has. We drop to eight. All right, I think we got to go for it. So we untap. We draw pure steel. Well, one, two, play the pure steel. I mean, we got to go for it. We got to go for it. We got to go for it. Play the land. Go to combat. Attack the Ashiok. It's going to depend on what's in our opponent's hand. 
opponent. Oh, is this chance for glory going to steal through all the hate in the world? If our opponent blocks with Ornithopter, then we'd just immediately win. Okay, blocks with a construct. Well, chance for glory? That one card in hand does worry me. Come on, hold, hold. Okay, resolves. We kill the construct. We go to our extra turn. We play Sunbake Canyon. Crack Sunbake Canyon. Actually, we might need this mana. Go to combat. Attack Ashiok. Attack our opponent. This should be just enough to trample over. Opponent blocks. Ashiok dies. Okay, hates off the table. Unattach. Repeated reverberation. Equip. Oh my God, we're gonna win this. Unattach. Repeated reverberation. Equip. Repeated reverberation from hand. Oh my goodness, this is a good one. Repeated reverberation. Wow, Pona had all the hate and it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, copy of all, copy of all. And then last but not least, I feel a lightning bolt coming. I feel a lightning bolt. I can't believe we're gonna win this. Sunforger, watch us get stifled. That would be the worst. Light, red, unattach, lightning bolt, your face. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get a few, just a few, just a few lightning bolts. <laughs> Yes, oh my goodness, we did it! Through the hate cards, we found the path. The chance for glory was key. I'm so glad we did not sideboard out the chance for glory. That would have been bad. Wow, Sun Forger! Busted, busted! Might not be great in Commander. Well, I mean, might be overrated in Commander, but looking like it might be underrated in Modern because it's going off. Wow, what a game. What a game, what a win! What a win, what a deck! Oh, Pony had Fluss. Their last card was Flusterstorm. But yeah, the the way the stack works, it doesn't actually stop the copies. That was a that was a good one. Woo! Sweet, sweet. Much brew about nothing time. We are comboing with Sunforger. Seeing if Commander's overrated equipment. Maybe, maybe it's gonna modern. Uh this hand's okay. Repeated reverberation's not the best. In our hand, uh, if we can somehow get enough mana to copy like an unexpected windfall, that would be good, but unlikely to be super impactful. We'll see what our opponent's doing. Could be, could be Ponds, I guess. Could just be ramping. Could be something like Karth. Uh, a lot of decks, a lot of decks play art. Could be Heliod combo. We'll see what land our opponent gets here. Overgrown Tomb. All right, I'm leaning towards Karth then. Arbor Elf off of Golgari mana. Most likely Karth. And a Planeswalker, all right even more likely to be Karth. And uh, we are in trouble. I don't know if we can stop this Liliana from ultimating. Opponent pitches a damnation. Well, Fervent Champion. I mean, the nice thing about being a combo deck is it's always possible that we can just combo off. And if we combo off, we got him. We got him, we got him. Uh, we're going to grab Shadow Sphere. We don't really want our opponent to know about Sunforger. Grabbing Shadow Sphere hopefully makes our opponent think that we are a a legit Stoneforge deck, they can like put a, yeah. They can like put a Calder Complete or something into play and make our opponent tick down. Cause we're mostly afraid of this Liliana ultimating and we don't really have a way to pressure it enough. We need, we need time basically. Opponents, taps and untaps. So what we need to do, all right, there's a Grist, sure. So we need to play the land on whatever, play the Sunforger. So here's here's our plan. Here's our hopes, here's our dreams, here's our plan. We need to unexpected windfall to make enough mana that we can fervent champion and immediately combo off because while our opponent's deck really good at killing things at sorcery speed, probably doesn't have that much instant speed removal. Opponent, taps and untaps. And okay, well now we are a <laughs> Now we're officially dead. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> we can actually just scoop now. Yeah, there's there's no way. We do not have a plan for this deck. I guess we can bring in a pithy needle, but really we we do not have a realistic plan. Yeah, because we can't deal with a Karn. I mean, I guess we could make a big board, but Karn does just lock us down. We got a plan for Stony Silence with a bunch of wear tears, but Karn in specific. Ah, the problem is also that our opponent saw a Sunforger, so they probably sideboard for it. Can we kill our opponent before a Karn comes down? That's the real question. You know what? We can try this. We got two artifact lands. We got the Sunforger. So there might be potential to use Pure Steel to combo. Hopefully our opponent doesn't ramp too hard. All right, opponent starts ramping hard. Uh, Rustfill Bridge. I mean, if our opponent plays a Karn, we just, we pretty much just scoop. I'm not sure there is any way 
any way out of that overgrown tomb. Untapped. And our opponent probably has sideboard cards now too. Oh my god, Inquisition. Yeah, 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 yeah. If they take the pure steel, then we're forever away from comboing, which is not great. Yeah, Karn is the natural enemy of our deck. We have answers to most of the things our opponent can play to hate on our deck, but Karn is is unique. We do not have a good plan for that. Opponent untaps the overgrown tomb. Oh my god. All right, so sideboard cards, four days. Double Thoughtseize and Oath of Nyssa. This is going to reveal the Karn, isn't it? Yeah, the sideboard card's coming in. Kaito Suzuki. Well, we draw a pretty useless land. Play a Sun Forger. Pass the dirt. So I guess we have to top deck Fervent Champion, basically. And dodge hate and removal. Found it. Misty. Cracks it. Gets an island. Kaido. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kaido seems fine in Karth. Goes attacking, gonna draw a card. So we can't win this turn no matter what. We need two turns. And we need to not get got by removal or Karn opponent and we need to draw fervent champion which is i mean that's that's the that's the goal one like if we don't draw fervent champion we got no chance but starting next turn if our opponent doesn't have hate if we ever top deck fervent champion we can just combo uh, all right so you can founder go a builder not taps there's a chance there's still a chance burden catacombs there's a chance until the card comes down mm, gonna go to combat gonna hit us gonna draw with kaido this extra card each turn is kind of annoying i think we're hoping our opponent just plays a karth that would actually be the best like uh, it, well we gotta top deck the fervent champion that's that's the only thing that matters opponent draws an extra card with a kaido the only thing about kaido in this deck is the ultimate doesn't seem very good i mean i guess it can get karth so i guess it's fine but there's not many blue or black creatures in the deck but yes maybe just getting karth is good enough plus drawing an extra card each turn is pretty powerful full opponent three mana come on fervent champion liliana sure 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 well we got a window opponent could have fatal push but if they don't and we draw a fervent champion game all right opponent takes up got a discard but we are very much running out of time in multiple ways like these planeswalkers are gonna are gonna ultimate at some point discard about it repeated reverberation well land and go not dead yet not dead yet not officially dead yet Karth is so good Every time we play Carve, it just massively overperforms. I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I guess the problem is it's a mid-range deck. Mid-range decks just, I don't know. You don't get Lurus. You don't get most of the Modern Horizons 2 busted cards. So maybe that's why it's not like a, is this Karn? If it's Karn, we scoop. We just, we literally can't beat it. Could be something to fix in the sideboard. Jace, okay. Jace doesn't just make us die. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's bad. So now we're just kind of locked. Opponent puts it. They're thinking about it. It doesn't say. Well, I don't know if they put it to the top or the bottom. Opponent. Wait, is there a way to tell? It just says they activated it. That's awkward. Takes up. Well, I mean, we're getting very, very close to conceding. We'll draw one more card, see if it's Fervent Champion. If it is, it's a Shadow Sphere. Well, I mean, I guess we can live for one more turn. Shadow Sphere go. I wish I knew what Jace was doing. Not that I guess it really matters because we can't change it, but goes to combat. Well, apparently Super Friends are the are the nemesis of Sun Forger. Who would have thought? Opponent draws a card. I mean, next turn we scoop. Next turn they can ultimate Liliana. I mean, we're, we're hoping for an actual, like, literal miracle. We need our opponent not to have interaction. We need our opponent to somehow not put our, our Fervent Champion to the bottom with Jace. And then we also have to draw Fervent Champion. Yeah, this, this must be a Moto Bug, because it really should tell you what they do with the card. Okay, this time it does. Chooses not to use this. Well, I assume we're I assume we're dead then. If our opponent's choosing not to use Jace, either that or they just don't understand our combo. Opponent, Tamio. Well, let's see if our opponent understands how our combo. Oh, no. Artifact land punishment. Oh, and it's a Sun Forger. All right. That was the worst performance we've seen from this deck by quite a bit. But on the other hand, I mean, our opponent did have really, really, really solid draws. They never found a Karth. Maybe they're not even playing Karth. But they did have turn one dork into turn two planeswalker both games. And yeah, just kind of kind of picked us apart. Guys, you can't win them all with Commander's most overrated equipment. <laughs> Much brew about nothing time. We are mulliganing with our Sunforger Wombo combo deck out now. Ugh. Well, I guess we're going to five. Going to five and up against Kahira. Ugh. Actually, we should probably put both reverberations to the bottom, I think, just because we actively want them in our deck. Uh, well, Valakid Awakening tapped past the turn. 
Yeah. This control deck is going to be tricky. Doubly tricky with five cards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day, I want to see someone play Kahira Nightmares. It's going to happen someday. Someday, they're going to print a busted Nightmare. Nightmare Tribal is going to be a thing. Actually, why is why is Nightmare even on this, honestly? Like, so Kahira, Cats, sure. Elementals, yup. Dinos, Beasts, yup, yup, yup. That all makes perfect sense. Nightmare. Nightmare is the one that doesn't, doesn't fit. Come on, deck. Give us something good. Oh, well, planes, and I mean, we're gonna play Sun Forger. Go. Yep. If we know we're gonna lose, we can chance for glory ourselves to death. Opponent going to think twice. So this is, I think, like a wilderness reclamation deck, most likely. A bit of passes. Uh, well, play the land on white. Pass the turn. Well, next up is unexpected windfall. I mean, it's not impossible that we get into a position where we just draw our combo pieces and and win out of the blue? Unlikely, but not impossible. All right, well, that resolves. I mean, there's Fervent Champion. So there is a world. I don't know if it's a world we live in, but there is a world where our opponent just taps out and we Fervent Champion and combo off and win. Okay, well, that world is gone because now there's a Teferi and it bounces our <clears throat> Sunforger. Yeah, so Teferi just straight up stops our combo forever. And we're sad. Uh, well, we will play a Stone Forge Mystic. See if this draws out a counter. Yup. Well, then we will Fervent Champion, kill the Teferi, and yeah, might as well Pended Prism. Pass the turn. Teferi one down. Opponent Breeding Pool. I wish we could resolve a spell. That'd be so sweet. Tapping much mana. Untapping. Just as much mana. Oh, okay. Tapping. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, this is this is our shot. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna go for it. Sunbake Canyon and one, two, three, Sunforger. Are we gonna win? Equip. Uh unattach. Are we gonna win this? Repeated reverberation. Equip. Oh my god, we're gonna win this. Wow. Unattach. Unexpected windfall. Discard chance for glory. Make a few treasures. Wow, I do not believe this is working. Okay, equip, unattach. We got it, this is game. This is game, through the control deck. Uh, okay, unattach, repeated reverberation, equip. Maybe this deck is legitimately good. I cannot believe this matchup seems ridiculously bad for us, but we're getting there. Uh, repeated reverberation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cast it again. Can never have too many reverberations. Uh, and then equip, and then unattach, and then lightning bolt for 21. Stack's like legitimately good. Uh, lightning bolt, your face, get a few copies. <laughs> I can't believe this is working as well as it is. Like I am, I am straight up shocked. Whoa, to fairies, counter spells, shark typhoons, does it matter? Because apparently our deck's busted. Okay, uh, control, boil, in. Pithing needle, in. Silence, in. Wear tears, probably a couple in. Go down, angel's grace. Go down, a lightning bolt. Go down. Chance for glory could be, could be helpful. Chance for glory's been pretty impressive in this deck, honestly. Maybe we go down like shadow sphere, not great. Spring leaf drum, not great, and then I think a pure steel. We did bring in a pithing needle. What is our last cut? Oh boy, I, do, I just wanna sun forge up a boil. The argument for cutting pure steel is basically that we have cut some artifacts. So it's gonna be less likely to turn on. I don't know if we wanna cut combo pieces though. Tricky to bring in too many cards with this deck. Maybe go down the lightning storm? Planeswalker removal could be worth it. Some way to just straight up kill a Teferi could help. Uh, you know what, go down a prism, run it like that. All right, here we go. Up against Boy Control. Try to Sunforge him, we'll keep this. So this, this is a matchup. One thing I've been thinking about playing this deck is even though the list is really tight, which we've talked about multiple times because there's so many combo pieces, I think it could be worth it to find room for like a Calder Complete or a Batter's Skull or both. Like having an equipment that's good to tutor up against Control seems like it could be really helpful. 
Because we're going to be like casting stone forges and getting sun forgers number million, really. Like we don't really need a third sun forger here, but being able to like snag a calder complete would be super helpful. So something to keep in mind. I mean, the deck's been working shockingly well and it's super fun and super sweet, but I still think there's potential, potential improvements too. About it, hollowed fountain, mystic gate. All right, everyone's favorite to fairy. Bounces the stone forge. Sacred foundry untapped. Bolt the Teferi. Yeah, we're gonna be failed to finding here with the stone forge in a second. All right, opponent lets it go. Stone forge. Oh my God! Every sun forger. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're thinning our deck of Sun Forgers, so we're not gonna draw them. I guess that's good. About it adapts. Yeah, Teferi's a nightmare because it does keep us from Sun Forging. Opponent and passes. Land on white. Stone Forge again. Wow, what an awkward, awkward hand. Oh, I wish we had a real equipment. Like if we had a Calder complete, I think we could steal this win. I'll pass the turn. When you actually have to equip Sun Forger, it's a lot, a lot worse. Baby shark, do, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's fine. I mean, we're gonna have enough mana that we can try to just like fairly equip Sun Foragers. Misty Rainforest, opponent goes to combat, uh, attacks, down to 16. Or if we could turn our Sun Forgers into creatures, Sun Forger beat down win, summon soul artifact action. All right, Prismatic endings of Stone Forge. Oh no, another one. Hmm. All right, so we need to top deck Fervent Champion, and we got a chance. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Unexpected windfall. Well, I think we cast this now while your opponents tap down. Discard a Sun Forger. Oy, way more lands, okay. Pass the turn. <laughs> Whoa, well, we got plenty of mana. We're gonna need some uh, non, non land cards at some point. Opponent. Non land, non Sun Forger. Well, I guess we can't draw more Sun Forgers. We have, we've drawn them all. <laughs> we've found everyone, but it hits us. Down to 14. Cavern of Souls? Could Cavern be worth it? Cavern on Night? So many possibilities. Well, Sun Bay Canyon. Uh, sack it. He's not another land. We can't take it. We can't take it. Unexpected windfall. <clears throat> All right, well, pass the turn. Being able to resolve that would be nice. That's a way to turn a land into something. Pass the turn. About it. All right, discards Ottawa. Well, we will. Unexpected windfall, discards Sacred Foundry. <laughs> Pick up the Zud Forger. So much mana. Another issue we might be running into is we have drawn many of our unexpected windfalls. So we might have a hard time comboing, even if we find our combo pieces, because we're not gonna have any unexpected windfalls left in our deck. Well, one, two, three, Sun Forger. I mean, we have a million of these. Are they really gonna try to counter them all? Okay, well, play a mountain. One, two, three, Sun Forger. Pass the turn. So silence would be good. Ranger captain would be good to use as a silence. If we can give ourselves one turn, there's actually hope. There's actually hope if we can find a way to give, give ourselves that one turn window. Opponent, wandering emperor. That doesn't really ruin things. Can make a dork. Well, counter on the shark, okay. Isn't that less of a clock? I guess they want the, want to stay at a bolt range. Come on, silence. Silence potentially wins us the game. We just have so much mana. The problem is we are on a clock. We're dropping to eight. So we don't have that much time. Hopefully two turns. We hopefully have two turns. Fun heads us down to eight. Oh, this is so close. Three cards in hand. How do we fight through the removal and the counters? Passes. We draw a planes. One, two, three. Play another Sun Forger. Play the planes. Pass the turn. I mean, next turn is, next turn's it. We're dead the following turn, so we gotta find a way to win. Hopefully they don't have another shark. That would be disappointing. Hopefully we have one more turn. Oh, that's actually lethal. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a problem. Uh, I guess we unexpected windfall and see what happens, but I think we're dead. Unexpected windfall. Valakut Awakening. Well, if they had the Solitude, the combo wasn't gonna work anyway. Bottom, bottom. I guess we gotta hit a Bolt? Wow, okay. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. This is going to be super interesting about it. 
Spreading seas, sure, draws a card. Solitude is an issue that does get around Ranger Captain, but we did find a silence and the fervent champion. Do we have enough pieces left in our deck to combo? Wow, this ended up being so close. Opponent passes. Oh my God, we drew silence. Oh my God, we drew silence. Okay, one, two, three, one, 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 two, three, four. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe silence you. Oh my God, are we gonna win this? The least likely, oh my goodness. Do what you gotta do, friend. Run it, LOLs in chat. Yeah, well, we got our protection. Oh, it resolves, okay. Fervent champion. My only concern is, do we have enough pieces left in our deck to win? And I'm not sure if we do. So equip, red, white, unequip, maybe. Repeated reverberation. White, red, uh, equip, unequip, repeated reverberation. We don't have a lightning bolt, so we gotta win with lightning storm somehow. Okay, repeated reverberation. I don't know if we can, we'll see. Copy it. Wow, we might have spent too many resources. Actually, four, eight. Oh, I think there's a way. I think there's a way. Equip, oh, this is hilarious. White, red. Unequip. Wow, we gotta piece this together. Unexpected windfall. Discard pure steel. Draw a bunch of cards, make a bunch of treasures. Okay, there's the boil. Okay, can we find a way to win? So, lightning storm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lightning storm. Why, wow, I think this is gonna work. Oh, hang on, we gotta maintain priority. Lightning storm. Sack, sack, tap. And then discard a land. Discard a land. Discard a land. So this is three, six, nine, 12. Okay, let's see if our opponent does anything. Cause our opponent can also discard lands. Wow, I cannot believe we piece this. What a game. Same targets. So this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. When it goes to seven, equip, equip, attack. <laughs> we found a way, we found a way. And if something goes wrong, we can get an extra turn spell and boil. Go to combat, attack you. I mean, so they can, they could make a shark to chump block, I guess, would be the one thing they could do. Do we win this? Wow, Sunforger taking down the control deck in the least Oh my goodness, we just likely win. This deck has been impressive. We used all of our pieces, so we had to try to piece it together and it was still enough. Like we spent all of our bolts, so we couldn't get that win. We spent most of our unexpected windfalls, so we couldn't just do that. We still found a way. I mean, we got a little lucky to find our silence, but we did dig pretty hard as well. Still, wow, what a game. What a game, what a performance, what a deck. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Sunforger combo in Modern? And I gotta say, the deck worked way better than I expected. I thought it was gonna be kind of janky against the odds deck, but we finished three and two with the deck. There was one more match against Burn that I didn't show. That was the second loss uh, where opponent just killed all of our creatures and it wasn't very entertaining. Uh, so three and two, good record with a really off the wall brew. And I gotta say the deck actually felt strangely competitive. Like the combo was really good. And thanks to all of our tutors, all of our redundancy, it was actually really easy to set up and it's fast enough. It's like a turn four, turn five combo, which isn't like blazing fast for modern, but fast enough that it can be competitive. So I'm actually kind of surprised at how good the deck actually could be. Also, I think the deck can be improved. I think there's a couple of things that we could do that might make the deck a lot better. The biggest is improving the Stoneforge package. So obviously Stoneforge is in the deck to get Sunforger because that's our namesake card. That's our main combo piece. And that's still the card we want to tutor up most often. But something I noticed in our games is we had several games where we either drew a Sunforger naturally or we drew like multiple Stoneforge mystics and we don't really have another good tutor target. Like Shadow Sphere is good. I don't want to cut Shadow Sphere. It is fine, especially against aggro. But we had some games where we ended up with like four Sunforgers in hand because we we just kept tutoring him up and tutoring him up. And Sunforger doesn't really do anything with multiples. Like the second one can be okay because it gives us some uh, protection from removal.
possible if our opponent blows up the first one when we play the second one. But really, we only ever need one. It doesn't stack very well. So I think the easiest thing to do to improve this deck is add Batter Skull and or Cauldra Complete to give us like uh, another backup plan. If we can't combo off for whatever reason, we'll always have the option of being like Stoneforge, get a Batter Skull, beat you down. Stoneforge, get a Cauldra Complete, beat you down. The other thing I would be interested in is more ways to protect the combo. We were able to win a lot of games by surprise. And if you play the deck, my advice would be don't just like run out your Fervent Champion. The way I played it, and I think maybe it's the best way to play it, is to try to wait until we get the combo set up and then play our Fervent Champion or Pure Steel Paladin and proceed to just immediately win the game on the spot, hopefully while your opponent's tapped out. Because when you think about the combo, what beats it is removal. And most decks have some form of removal, but if our opponent waits until we go to free equip our Sunforger for the first time and just kills our Fervent Champion or a Pure Steel, that kind of fizzles our entire plan. We saw against Control, having a silence out of the sideboard was essential to winning. We were able to silence, and then our opponent couldn't cast a removal and counters, and then we just comboed off and killed them. I don't know if we want to add more silences to the deck. I could see adding one. I wasn't super impressed with Angel's Grace, so I could see one main deck silence. But I think what I'm really interested in is finding a way to squeeze in more copies of Ranger Captain of Eos. More copies of Ranger Captain of Eos I think would be a huge deal because it works like a silence when we sack it and it also tutors up Fervent Champion. I'm almost wondering if we could play like four Ranger Captains and maybe zero Pure Steals and just trust that we're going to be able to always tutor up our Fervent Champion or maybe like one Pure Steal and then if we had less Pure Steals in the deck we wouldn't need as many random artifacts. We wouldn't need Rustfield Bridge in the mana base. We wouldn't need a uh, Pentan Prism necessarily to up our artifact count. So I think that could be an interesting option and then that would give us more room to play more removal or more whatever we want in the deck. Finally, the last suggested, a uh, little bit of Planeswalker removal. The other thing that can beat our deck is Stony Silence-like effects, just things that keep us from activating our artifacts. It shuts down some of our lands, it shuts down Pentad Prism. The biggest deal is it shuts down Sunforger though, so it just hard locks our combo. And we have Stony Silence itself covered with a bunch of wear tears and portable holes, but we ran into Karn the Great Creator and just got stomped. Like Karn is kind of unbeatable. I guess it's theoretically possible that we could attack it down, but it's pretty unlikely. We also almost got got by an Ashiok keeping us from tutoring, although, wow, I can't believe we won that game. We managed to assemble a weird Fervent Champion, Chance for Glory beatdown to get it off the table and then combo. So Planeswalker removal, I think, could be a big addition. I'm almost thinking maybe in this deck in specific, because Planeswalkers are kind of hate cards, at least some of them, maybe we'd rather play like Fateful Absence in our sideboard over Path to Exile, just have a way to get Karn off the table, because it really felt like Karn resolving is basically just good game for our deck. There, I guess, is some slight chance that we managed to beat it down with creatures, but it's pretty unlikely. So I think a bit of Planeswalker removal could also help, but overall, I love this deck. I love it. It's a really sweet brew. It wins in a unique way. It does all kinds of cool things. The combo did win every single time. We even managed to piece together a, a, a pseudo combo where we didn't have any lightning bolts left because we drew them all and we were a little short on, what was it? Unexpected windfall, repeated reverberation, one of those, but we were short on combo pieces left in our deck and we we're still able to like piece it together and find a way to win. So the deck's really sweet. It's really fun. And I think it has potential to get even better with a couple of small tweaks around the edges and who knows maybe Sunforger combo could be a legit deck in modern so anyway that's Sunforger combo the most overrated equipment in commander apparently shockingly good in modern and that's better much improved for this week thanks for watching everyone i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon